Hey guys, this is JC Avier and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to apply the strikes I've shown you in the first two videos in a real life self-defense situation. Now, if you've watched my first two videos, I've shown you guys how to teep, how to do the roundhouse, and how to punch. But it's one thing to learn how to execute the moves and it's another thing to apply them in a real life scenario. So today I'm going to be showing you techniques on how to apply these strikes in a real life self-defense scenario. So let's get into it. If you recall from the first video, I've shown you guys the teep. So for those who haven't watched it, I recommend that you do. I did a full breakdown on how to do it, but just for the sake of demonstration, it looks something like this. Another time. Last time. Now, the teep is a strike, but a simple way to use it in a real-life self-defense scenario is to use it as a defense, a means to push your opponent away from you when they are executing a strike. So I'm just going to call in my sparring partner here. Yes. Okay, so my sparring partner here is going to be the attacker, I'm going to be the defender. I'm going to be using the team in order to push him away from me. He's going to be the uh, street fighter. I'm just going to be a normal bystander. Go. I want to control. Right there. One more time. Go. Another time. Go. Thank you. Now, as you can see, what most street fighters would do is throw punches, like I said in the first two videos. They would engage you, they would go forward and throw their strikes. This is why the teep is very handy, because it acts as a little force field. That way, every time they come near you, you can just kick them right here in the chest, or you can kick them right here on the leg. That way you can stop them at their tracks. Now, the teep is a defensive, uh, this is one way to use the teep as a defensive technique, but there's also a way to use it as a setup. Now, what's a setup? A setup is a way to show, to land your strikes by using a stimulus to get your opponent's reaction. Now, what do I mean by this? In, in most fights, street fight or sparring, most guys, they wouldn't throw their punches and their kicks just to land them. They throw them to get a reaction. The reaction shows the openings in your opponent's guard, which will show you exactly how to land your strikes. So I'm gonna call in my uh, sparring partner here. Again, this time I'm going to be defending myself, He's go but he's going to defend my attack. So we're in a street fight, we're engaged. Again, again. As you can see, when I throw my teep, he blocks it with his hand. That way, it doesn't go to his body, it just goes down. But it may be a defense for him. Now, it gives me information. It tells me that he blocks with this hand and leaves his head wide open for a strike. So, now, I have my solution. Again. Yeah. 
I'm going to be showing that in the next video, but for now, let's try to land our strike. This time, I'm going to be using a punch, which I showed in the second video. So, one more time. I'm teaching, I'm trying to get the reaction, now that I got the reaction, right there. Since he keeps blocking with his hand, it leaves this part right open. So, once I throw my teeth, it's just a distraction in order to land my punch. Remember, when landing a punch, always use these two knuckles. These will be your point of impact. For those who have read, who have watched the second video, remember the uh, Wolverine Claws? This is where you apply them. Now, thank you. Now, for the roundhouse kick. For those who haven't seen it, I'll show a demonstration of the roundhouse kick. It looks a little bit like this. Again. And for this side, Now, full disclosure, when you use a roundhouse kick as your first attack, it won't land. Just as a demonstration, I will be calling my sparring partner again in order to show what exactly I mean by that. Okay. Right here. Now, I'm going to be attacking, he's going to be defending, we're in a street fight. And go. And now, as you can see, I can't land it. Since the roundhouse kick is so predictable, you can see it from the twist of the hips already. You can dodge it just as quickly. Even when I aim for the thigh, it only takes a step just to get out of the way. So, how do I find my solution? Through setup. First, I try to dis distract him. Try to get his guard up. So, I throw my punches. Now that I know that he's high alert on here, I can attack from below. And now, one more time. Last time. Thank you. Now, from that little simulation there, a setup is like a magic trick. It requires misdirection. That way, you disguise your attack by throwing a barrage of punches just by making them block or just get them concentrated on one part of their body in order to land a swift kick or punch somewhere else that they wouldn't expect. So, another demonstration for the heavy bag. One more time. Last time. That's all for today. Thank you guys for watching. Please be sure to share, like, subscribe just to see more content and watch out for the next video. Bye bye.